Sarah Doudney, an esteemed English fiction writer and poet, was born on January 15, 1841, in Portsea, Portsmouth, Hampshire. She spent her formative years in a village in East Hampshire, where she attended a school for French girls. Demonstrating literary talent from an early age, she started composing poetry and prose as a child. Doudney published her first poem, The Lesson of the Watermill, at the age of 15. This poignant piece, reflecting on the phases of life by drawing parallels to the workings of a watermill, resonated widely and found popularity in both Britain and the United States. In 1871, at the age of 30, she published her first novel, Under Gray Walls. Her third novel, Archie's Old Desk, released in the following year, solidified her success. Over her prolific career, Doudney wrote around 35 novels by 1891, focusing predominantly on stories for young girls. Her novels, such as A Woman's Glory and Stepping Stones, are remembered for their vivid storytelling and moral undertones. As a versatile writer, she also contributed poetry and fiction to various periodicals, becoming a recognized name across different literary circles. Her contributions extended significantly into the realm of children's literature and hymnody. Among her notable hymns are The Christian's Good Night and The Master Hath Come, the latter being particularly cherished for its serene melody and comforting lyrics. Her poetry collection, Psalms of Life, also published in 1871, showcases her introspective and spiritual reflections. Sarah Doudney led a deeply private life, residing with her parents until their passing in the early 1890s. After their deaths, she moved to Oxford, where she spent her later years. Remaining unmarried throughout her life, she devoted herself to her writing until her death on December 8th, 1926 in Oxford. Doudney's literary works, comprising novels, poetry, and hymns, reflect a legacy characterized by emotional depth, moral contemplation, and spiritual introspection. While her popularity has waned over the decades, her hymns and contributions to children's literature continue to be appreciated. Her writing remains a testament to her devotional spirit and her ability to weave profound simplicity into rich, engaging narratives.